at only 5,720 pounds, the Passport 2900 rear kitchen, it's one of my surprise favorites of the fall uh, additions to the Passport lineup here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. When I first saw this floor plan announced, I mean, I've seen a lot of rear kitchens, guys. Understand we have rear kitchens from, geez, Keystone and Coachman and Passport and Winnebago and Win everybody, Jayco. So I saw this and I rolled my eyes and went, oh boy, another rear kitchen. And it looked like all they did was play musical chairs with the furniture. But, you know what? As long as I've been doing this, I always tell people, don't judge a book by its cover. I, uh, I did the right thing, and I, uh, I said, well, you know, hold on, before I cast judgment on this, because I know that Passport's a solid brand, they didn't get to be the number one selling uh, lightweight travel trailer in North America by accident. Um, you know, they have a stellar service record, and we can back that up here at Halet RV. Our service center loves when we sell these because they don't come back for service. Um, you know, I'll give these guys the benefit of the doubt, and then I walked through it, and I went, oh, I get it. They didn't just play musical chairs with the furniture. They also updated the entertainment, which is something I didn't see off the original floor plan schematic. And when we get inside, I think you'll see what I mean. But before we get there, I want to tell you how these are kind of put together. If you're not interested in that, not that I can talk apparently this morning, if you're not interested in that, then just skip ahead. So, like I said, Passport's had an amazing service record here, which is, I think, one of the reasons why Keystone provided it with the new one plus three structural warranty. Uh, so you've got a full year coverage, three year structural, and it does what you expect a three-year structural warranty to do. They're not all created equal. I encourage you to do your own research to determine that. Some are fine, some are not. Um, I think the quality of this product starts with the chassis. It rides on an HSLA uh, frame, high strength, low alloy. In English, it's uh, like a Z frame, not an I-beam, and it is lighter, but stronger. It's made with better steel. It's not the cheaper frame, but it's the better one. And I've always said, if you want a good house, you, you start with a good foundation. When you buy a home, I mean, really, the value of your home is greatly invested in the foundation of that home so that you have good longevity. You may have noticed the quick little simple solar prep plug up front there. They don't spend a lot of time making a big deal about that at Passport. But they do everything that matter on this. That's what I like. They do everything that matters on a Passport and nothing that doesn't. Simplicity things. Things that you're going to spend and use every single day. Spend time on and use every day. You've got magnetic baggage door latches. For protection purposes, they have a full sealed piano hinge on their baggage doors. Now, imagine when it starts to become spring or fall, and you get those snaps between, you get that bounce between freezing and non-freezing temps. That water would freeze on a normal seal. When water freezes, it turns to ice and it expands. When it expands, it will bust the hinge up. It will spring the hinge. You don't have that problem now on a passport. They've eliminated it. Black tank flush and full outside shower, not cold water sprayer port. Um, when you start getting down here under the skirt, you start to see things like a fully enclosed forced air heated underbelly. You know, they've done the extra things they need to do to keep this product in top shape long term. I've been in a passport in January. I took off my coat and I took off my shoes because I was comfortable in it. Now the furnace was chugging, but it was keeping up. You see that the windows are UV tinted. That gives you privacy. It also cuts down on um, solar radiation exposure on your furniture, so fading. It'll cut down on fading in English. You also notice that the windows are maximum size to open for maximum airflow. That's a sweet thing. Um, these are backup camera ready. We have the whole camera system available at the Halet RV Parts and Service Center. Uh, we've found that we can install them aftermarket for the customers who are interested in that for the exact same price as uh, you can get it installed by the manufacturer. So this way we can uh, offer the same deal to those that want it without price charging and digging and price gouging. That's what I'm looking for, those that don't. Um, the, uh, all of your Passport in the Grand Touring series here at Halitz, which is what you're looking at, they always include either some sort of outside cooktop or an outside uh, barbecue like bumper grill. And this is no exception. And I love what they did here. They utilize this rear corner. This, this corner in, the, in a rear kitchen traditionally suffers from kind of uh, you know, poor uh, access use from the inside. So what they did is they open it up to the outside where you can have a nice little outside kitchenette, a little outside utility cook station, if you will. Um, including, uh, an, uh, you know, <laughs> Dad's medicine cabinet, my favorite thing. That's what keeps the barley pops cold and outside for you. Also, keeps it's good for the kids' bug juice, I've heard. I don't know. I <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, but you notice it's under this extremely long awning. 
and I like this uh, rear kitchen because it doesn't have a door side slide that eats up your awning space. Now, between the extreme all aluminum skeleton uh, build of a passport to keep the weight down and the structure up and, and valid long term, uh, 5,700 pounds in one slide and it does not feel small inside. And this entire window wall right here is one of the reasons why. When you're inside, you feel like you're just, you have an entire scenic view uh, of of your exterior and it's funny when you're sitting inside and you're looking out It's almost like looking through some kind of glass menagerie because uh, you know You can see out but people can't see in it just it kind of has that very nice um, Exclusive feel on the inside now of course I forgot to flip the switch But it, we do have full-length LED lighting under the awning. Uh, we have easy tilt awning arms I think maybe three times in history. I've remembered to turn those awning lights on it just it's just not part of my routine I guess bad habit now, look at the axles. You see how the wheels are spread really far apart. This has a wide stance stability axle system. What this does is it helps prevent the trailer from porpoising down the road. Uh, basically, when you're going down the road in a Keystone Passport, when you're pointing this way, the trailer doesn't want to bounce up and down and it doesn't want to swerve side to side because of these tires. This is not a replacement for the weight distribution systems that, uh, you know, like we have available here in our um, Haylet RV Parts and Service Center. This is a supplement too. So for half ton towing or uh, potential big SUV towing, this is one of the best brands I can recommend, both because of the, the reduced weight and the uh, better handling with the wide stance stability axles that you have here. Now things like the uh, larger entry handle, that's just an everyday thing on a Passport Grand Touring. They do that across the board just because again, they spend the money where they need to, like that easy tilt awning, you know. They put the money where it needs to be and they only do everything that matters and nothing that doesn't. That's just really the whole mantra of the brand. They look at every single thing and these guys are actually really in tune with the rest of the market. It's actually very interesting to me. Um, we live and, and work so close to the RV manufacturing heart of this business that I've met a lot and, be, and become pretty good friends with a lot of RV designers. Like, uh, case in point, the guys at Passport, they actually are uh, you know, building a, a floor plan that I came up with, the industry's first ultralight travel trailer mid-bunk. So they're very good at listening to people. So they're very in tune with, okay, what does everybody do? Does it really matter? Does it not? So, uh, again, we, we talked about the big windows. But like I said, when I first walked into this, I'm like, this is dumb. All they did was play musical chairs with the furniture. But then I walked in it, and I came over here to this sofa, and I sat down, and I went, oh, you moved the entertainment center too. See, most traditional rear kitchens, super slide rear kitchens, they have the TV over here, where you have to crank your neck 90 degrees to the left like I'm doing right now to be able to see that. Well, there's a huge trend in the business, and it's a good one, where the entertainment center should be directly across from primary seating spaces. Well, they've accomplished that here. Most rear kitchens, all of the seating faces inward because they were built uh, in a time before TVs were really thought of as a mainstay in RV design and RV use. Well, times have changed, and the guys at Passport changed with them. Now look how the TV can swing out. So when you're sitting in these uh, rocking chairs to my left here, the whole little uh, safety strap flopped down. But again, we've got a perfect angle on the TV. You can be back in the kitchen. You can see the TV. Everyone gets a shot at the entertainment. And when you don't want it, when you don't need the entertainment, it's as simple as just folding it back against the wall. And you've got a little toe safety strap where you can strap that down that managed to pop out for us here. Um, but you can keep it up out of the way or in a neutral position for viewing. And as soon as I wrap my head around that, I started going, oh, look at this. You've got a full-on entertainment window wall right here where when I'm in my RV, I have just the most amazing view of my entire campsite under the awning. All of these windows are giving you the view under the awning. Now notice, they're all big windows. They all open for ventilation and they're all directly across from the giant super slide cross breeze windows. This is a fresh air machine. It gets crazy airflow, which is one of the reasons why they don't just do a skylight at the Keystone Passports. Um, this is a, a difference that I see on them here at Halitz, is that they actually do a vent back here. So even if you're cooking, you can exhaust a lot of hot air uh, organically, because heat rises. You don't even need to burn up fan power to do that. So, this has a standard trifold memory foam sleeper sofa here. When you open, the other thing I like about this is when you open that hide bed you can still walk through it. When this slide out is closed, you can access the entire floor plan with the exception of like this rear corner back here. But you can get into it, you can get to your cabinetry, you can sit down, 
uh, you know, you can uh, have a quick meal. It does so many good things. I really like it. And, and obviously, it brightens right up in here with the uh, all-LED lighting package. And I like that, again, they do the things that matter. Some brands, fewer now than in history, but some brands will do, like, main cabin LED lights, but then they'll still do incandescence in off-zone areas, like slide-outs. Passport does light uh, LEDs across the board so that you just get, uh, uh, you know, better lighting, uh, better viewing, and a more comfortable place that doesn't generate as much heat. Now, right when you walk in the door next to my little umbrella there, because I was dodging raindrops today, you've got a nice little, uh, like, boot bench, shoe garage. They didn't waste the space. They did something with it, but... It's just big enough to be super functional and just small enough that it really does not interfere with your whole walkthrough entry area here. And your command center is where you can get to it without the grandkids getting to it. AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. And I kind of like that they sort of hid the uh, USB chargers away so that your phones can be sort of out of sight and out of mind from the grandkids. Um, or the kid kids. I don't know. My kid's always on my phone. Um, so they did more with their pantry too. And, you know, again, this is where Passport's great. They, they're very good at enhancing things in a very cost-effective manner. So this is a great pantry space. But the upper section here, this is adjustable shelving. So if you want to convert that into additional closet or hanging space, you can. No big deal. Um, now, again, this rear corner countertop space, especially the chunk right down there under that rear corner, you can't get to it from the inside without crawling into your cabinets. That is why they just simply, it looks decent, it looks clean, they just partitioned it off, and that's your outside kitchenette. Now look over here in the kitchen, we've got uh, all sorts of prep space. That is one of my favorite parts about rear kitchens. I've always liked rear kitchens because they give you the same, like, seating uh, complement of a rear living room, but they give you all of this extra storage and all of the extra counter space that a, a rear living room just can't dream of matching. And you know, they've, they've made it so you can access every square inch of this storage. There's nothing that's difficult to reach. Um, I also like the little cabinetry updates. Now, you do have more than one set of outlets. You see that you have some outlets here under the cabinets as well. But again, it just, it looks clean. You can put, I mean, you can put big griddles here. You can leave your toasters and your coffee makers back in the corner while still having all sorts of valid prep space to work with. This is a stone cold rock star of a floor plan. Um, the dinette over here, just like all the uh, Passport Grand Touring dinettes. I'm gonna sit down this rocking chair. Ooh, this is comfy. Um, we've got the doors for the bench storage access so it's easy to get in and out of that. Now that can fold down into a sleeper that can sleep one or two people. The hide bed can uh, open up into one or two people. This is a couple's coach that can sleep six comfortably. And when everyone is in the RV and everyone's sleeping, you can still navigate through the entire RV. So if you're up in the master bedroom, let's say the, uh, the kids or the grandkids or whatever are over here, um, you know, still snoozing off uh, from the night before because they stayed up too late watching Texas Chainsaw Horror Show, well, you can still get back here and get to your coffee machine and get to everything. Um, the, uh, you know, so I think this is a great floor plan for... Um, for couples, for traveling, for, I mean, if you're just going to have a site where you leave it parked, this is still a great living and, and, you know, dining type floor plan, entertaining floor plan. Um, I also think that like, if you've got kids who are in their like mid teens and up and they're not going to be camping with you much longer, I think this is a floor plan for you to really consider for the reason that their kids are old enough where they can make their own beds. They can fold up a high to bed uh, in the morning or at night. You don't have to do it for them. And then you're not spending money on a bunkhouse you're only going to use for two or three years and then trading it in on the couple's camper that you wanted anyway. You can get something like this that you can use now with a couple kids that will stay useful as the kids grow up and leave the house. That's what's cool about this. I do love that entertainment center. You know, something I thought about, and this is a personal preference, but I'm a big guy. Um, I like when my pet, when my table can move. I personally uh, don't like pedestal tables in, in the way that I camp. So for 40 bucks, I would swap this out uh, with a set of folding legs from our Halid RV part shop. And then you have this table that like when I'm sitting here at the sofa, I could just grab that table and I could pull it over to me and I could sit here, you know, with my, my dinner plate, checking out the entertainment, keeping an eye on my campsite through the windows. This is such a cool floor plan. So instead of the TV being right here, they've added extra pantry and extra, like, you know, coat closet space because nothing's gone to waste in here. And it's just, this is super useful space. And I love that it's not on a, it's not here as a bad entertainment center. It's here as a good pantry space. Pardon my little halo jacket here. You know what? Actually, check, check this out. Right when you walk in the door, 
the uh, bathrooms available. So whether you're traveling, whether you're at your destination, whatever the case may be, this has an easy access bathroom. And if you are sleeping up in the master bedroom, it's a dual entry bathroom so that everyone gets direct bathroom access without having to walk past everybody else. Plenty of floor space in here. Um, you've got a, a split open, a slide open shower door with the skylight above. So, uh, you know, if you're a little bit taller like me, you can stick your head in the bubble, be all right. I like the little touches with the accent and batten strips here. Now, both the skylight and the power vent fan is nice. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's not the biggest bathroom, but it's super effective. It's a, it's a proven effective bathroom. Up here in the master bed, something I want to point out, it's really important. The passports here at Haywood RV, they have a full 80 inch true queen bed. It's not the short camper queen you usually get in a lightweight trailer. You really need to compare little details like that because I've seen other brands where people go, why is their countertop six inches bigger? Well, it's because their bedroom is six inches smaller. So, you know, what some, uh, I've heard people say, yeah, well, if it has a camp queen, I can just always put the, the full queen in it, right? Yes, but because they didn't plan on that, you may not be able to walk around it anymore. You may have to climb over and through the bed area. By the way, the beds uh, do have power outlets right on the bed platform. You've got a nice little stand there for phones. And you notice that the, the passports here at Haylitz, they run their uh, hanging closets all the way down. Uh, from you know top to bottom so there's not that sharp edge down there for you to roll over and jab your elbow into or your arm or anything and if you're curious you can throw yourself a little you know I don't know 19 22 inch something like that flat screen right here um, you know you've got galvanized steel roof trusses I mentioned this has an all aluminum skeleton in point of fact it actually has galvanized steel roof trusses but the walls the floor the front rear walls all that is actually all aluminum skeleton so man I like this one I like this a lot more than I thought I would and I almost I almost feel guilty like that. Like, I've used this analogy before, but you know, like, when you watch America's Got Talent and that, like, a, a nerdy goofball like me shows up, they're like, um, hi, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing a song, and you roll your eyes, and you're like, oh, I can't wait for this dude to bomb. And then they sing so nicely that it makes you cry. I don't know that I quite feel that strongly about this one, but I do really like what I see here, and I really wanted to, I wanted to kind of put my own personal touch in this, you know, that... I judged a book by its cover, but I gave it a chance, and that's that's all I ask you guys to do. Give this trailer a chance, give Passport a chance, give Halo RV a chance. There's a reason we are the largest independent RV dealer in the state of Michigan. We're not only the only standalone dealer in the top 10, we're the only one in the top 5. And I don't care where you live, there's no such thing as being too far away to work with Halo RV. So whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, or everything in between, <gasps> Halo RV only does everything. So... Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.